uh, which maybe some people will prefer, but I would rather not see my naked body. <laughs> Hello? You guys are ridiculous. Don't judge me. <gasps> Look at the magic. We have potions and spellbooks and wands. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hello and welcome to another vlog. Uh, today is actually Tuesday. I didn't really vlog anything yesterday. I'm back at work this week, so um, after a lot of weeks off, there's been a lot of things to catch up on, so I've been working quite hard. But I am gonna attempt a bath without <laughs> attempt taking a bath. Doesn't sound like it should be an attempt per se, but in the last couple of times, um, I felt kind of worse afterwards, so I'm gonna just check <laughs> if I can do that without feeling that way. Because um, I don't want to wait too long and then build up some sort of um, anxiety of that. Um, and I think I'm most likely just gonna listen to the audiobook, maximum 30 minutes or something, you know? Maybe less. I don't know. That was a very disappointing <laughs> bath bomb. It basically didn't cover color the water at all, uh, which maybe some people would prefer, but I would rather not see my naked body. <laughs> you would have seen already at uh, the October TBR, so you know what sort of books I'm supposed to read. And Harry Potter was not one of them. <laughs> so what am I doing with my life? Like, I don't know. But um, I might see about starting a book tonight later on. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little bit of, of a different little project video idea thing just now, but I'll speak to you guys later. Hello. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is start reading Kings of the Wild. You have, if you haven't seen the October TBR video, I will suggest it somewhere here for you to watch. This was in Cody's pick. But this book has already sat in my TBR tray from the previous month when I did not know that that month is just gonna go down the drain. I was actually planning on reading this, so very excited to get going on this one and seeing if I indeed enjoy it as much as I think I will. Hello, welcome to a Wednesday. Uh, my dudes. I got some really exciting mail. Um, so <laughs> basically every week or so there's a couple of people asking where my glasses are from. They are from T-I-G-N eyewear. It's probably gonna be very hard to beat this pair because I absolutely, absolutely um, adore it. But it's lovely to have some pairs for like different moods or different outfits. They've contacted me and they're so, so kindly gifted these glasses to me, uh, which is absolutely Incredible, but yeah, you know, I know already that I love the brand because of these um, But let's see how the other ones go on so so I got these ah, So excited um, because obviously I wear these every day, so might as well treat it as an accessory I'm gonna open this. I accidentally scratched it when I was trying to take it out of the packaging as I said these are gifted to me but obviously I'm gonna be honest with my um, review so okay so this is the pair that is actually fairly similar to the one that I'm wearing but like slightly smaller I think and in a little bit of a different shape so because I obviously know that I like these I thought I'll go ahead and get these so they actually have different colors with the side eyes and I was going between the the pink and the see-through and I think there's blue or black as well and I went for see-through let's try these on oh god Ooh, how do I look this is a bit more like catty because I feel like these are a little bit like cat-like but these are very obviously cat-like so I enjoyed that I'll go closer it has a different nose bit as well it's a bit more pointy um I like it I really really like it so I think I have like a kind of a type especially because of my face shape I feel like 
if it points towards that direction, it usually fits my face quite well, I think. And I can see perfectly as well, which is obviously a plus. <laughs> What do you guys think? Do you like it? I do like the see-through ones. I think it would look really fun with the pink one as well. So I don't know why I didn't go for that, but I really like these as well. Um, okay, let us try another pair. They all come with a little uh, cleaning cloth and a case. They're big, you guys. Oh. Hmm, you know, I kind of like it. They're obviously very statement, but I feel especially with this top, it kind of goes, and with my hair, it kind of goes. What do you guys think? But I think, I think it's nice. I will say that these are quite loose and they would probably fall from my head, so I'll have to go and see in my local boots if I can tighten them. But that might be, but that might be my fault, because if it was a little bit tighter around, because, because like, I have eyes that are fairly far away from one another, but I have a fairly narrow head at this point, so glasses for me is a bit more difficult than for glasses for your average person. Um, so this is definitely one that's uniquely to me that is always that sometimes causes issues. So this one is on the looser side, but I think I can alter that, so that's gonna be all fine. I feel a bit like a pilot with these. <laughs> It's fun. They're, they're really fun. And I think this brand is just really good at um, offering unusual, a bit more statementy like pieces rather than something that blends in every day. But I've had compliments on these glasses pretty much everywhere I go. So yeah, what do you guys think? I'll show you some details on these actually. Wait, a little bit there. You have a T over here and you have two dots here and also a T on this side. But yeah, I thought I'll pop in here and tell you about that. Actually, while I'm here, I'll let you know what I read. I actually started reading something yesterday. I don't know if I told you, but Kings of the Wild. So I got up to page 42, just gonna start chapter six. I actually wanted to read it more, but um, we had to go to bed because it was already late, but I did. it was one of those that I was like, I really want to continue. I love the humor, but it also has already punched me in the feels more than once. This is a very emotionally, to me, packed book because I also am a person who uses humor on a daily basis as coping mechanism. And I feel like that really tackles into that kind of behavior. A little bit like self-deprecating, a little bit like... But also so caring. Oh, I love it. So basically, the story so far, without like major spoilers, obviously, I'm not at the point where I can give you major spoilers, but the story so far is that um, these guys have to reunite their previous band of mercenaries to go on a mission to save one of their daughters because the daughter got trapped in this town that's under siege. Um, but they're all like old farts basically and um, not as fit as they were for this kind of mission. <laughs> but oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. But anyway, I gotta go back to uh, work. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in here. So hello, premiering this in 21 minutes, woo! This is ridiculous. Mama, mama. Hello? You guys are ridiculous. Oh my god. And then there's Zeus. Oh <laughs> Sorry Zeus, I'll cuddle with you soon. morning it is thursday um i have a little bit of a reading update for you later but i gotta i gotta start work <laughs> but it's freezing here so i need to get into there for that i need to move my desk out and then put it back in because it's like squeezed right into there but the boiler is there <laughs> so i need to put the heating on because it's like terrifyingly cold here don't judge me Hey loves, I thought I'll pop in. I swear I'll give you a reading update really soon, but it's been a long day. It's been Friday. I, yeah, it's just been a lot. So I've actually done a little uh, shop restock and I have so many things that I want to do in the future. I'm very excited, but it's basically nine o'clock now and I'm actually gonna play Sims. I haven't played Sims in ages and I thought, you know what? Let yourself play a little bit. Clearly I need it. Um, 
Sorry. This is brought his toy for me to throw for him. Hey, buddy, good boy. Cookie. That like jingle sound haunts us every night and morning because he drags it towards us. It's cute, but <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm gonna play Sims because they released. I haven't played in a while because it gets boring after a while. Um, you know when you get to the stages of like, oh my god, I love it. I'm playing every day, and then I'm like, eh, eh, you know. But they've released um, Magical Realms or whatever the magic, the magic one and I am dying this is all sorts of things I did not need to I did not know I needed but I'm so happy to have so I thought to wind down I'm gonna create a character maybe I'll show you what I create as well um and play a little bit oh I'm so excited look at the magic we have potions and spell books and wands um yeah they redone the design of the logo I'm not really feeling it it feels like sims 2 I'm so original <laughs> I created Hermione. This is Hermione. I made her aspiration to basically know all the spells there are. I made her bookworm, perfectionate, and ambitious. And then I added this girl. Guess who's this? Luna. She's wearing slippers and she's gonna wear slippers outside. <laughs> I was thinking about barefoot, but eh. I put friends with all the animals because testrels. Creative, erratic, <laughs> and good. And then we also have Jenny, because I thought Dumbledore army girls could be all here together. Um, I put her as like bodybuilder because that's the only athletic thing that I could find there. And um, she obviously went on to play for the Holy Harpies. So that's the closest I could get. <laughs> but athletic or active, self-assured and romantic as she a big flirt. I also want to create some other sims now um, and throw them... I really want to create Fleur, so I might do that. But this is what happens, I create Sims and then I don't play them. <laughs> okay guys, I'm obsessed, so... Wait. This is the, the map for the, like, the magical thing, but like... There is another world that you can go into, I think. But this leaves a lot to desire just because there's... What? Five slots? Ridiculous. But this is where I just moved in because that's all we can afford. But I downloaded, like from the gallery, you can download other people's creations because I found the burrow and I put Shell Cottage here and I'm gonna dump Bill and um, Fleur here and I'm gonna do the Weasleys as well, I think. And I might find Hogwarts for that. <laughs> I don't know. I then put a lot of other things in there. So Fleur. And I got... This bad boy. <laughs> he is pushing his nose into it. Mm. There's like a sweaty nose prints on it now, bro. <laughs> like on everything we own. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> so cute okay so finally actually doing the update i've been talking about for forever but um we had the D, &D session um i'm very shattered so if i speak slowly sorry <laughs> but i've been reading kings of the wild i don't know what was the last time the thing that i told you about it but it might have been the same place um i'm on page 86 just gonna start chapter 11 at some point um i've been really really enjoying it um at the moment slightly less intrigued than at the very beginning but that's like i think it's pretty normal i'm by no means though i am not like still enjoying it a lot i i think it's hilarious and sad at the same time it's just like vibe of people have that have already given up but also look at everything very sarcastically and just like skeptical cynics cynics yeah that's the word yeah it's hilarious like i really am enjoying it um and then i was also reading serpent and dove i don't know if i <laughs> told you about this either but um i am actually currently on page 154 might read some more tomorrow i think today my brain is just not really capable of such things so or maybe i don't know but it's kind of late um 
And I'm actually enjoying it so, so much. The main character reminds me the tiniest bit of Mia from Nevernight. It's very different, but the amount of like, she's really not naive, which I really like. She's very much able to handle herself. Yeah, I've been really loving it. So it's all about this world where church is against the witches and witches are against the church because witches think that they had the land beforehand and the church obviously believes that the witches are evil. Um, I mean, it doesn't help that the witches do attack the people. <laughs> um, but it's also set in a time where women are viewed as almost property of men once they marry and just really not of equal status whatsoever so it's an interesting dynamic especially with the main character that ha like has no time for that that kind of bullshit but is tangled into it regardless at the end of it or not at the end of it but like at this at some point i'm sure you've heard enough about this book to be fair to know somewhat what's about but i'm on page 154 and I'm really liking it, especially the girl's point of view. As as I said, she's not naive and she does know how to handle herself and she's very manipulative and that's... Manipulative characters are very fun for me to read about. So I've been really enjoying that one. Very different type of books, obviously, this and this. <laughs> so can really say which I enjoy more. Um, if I had to pick, it's Kings of the Wild, but that's just because it's very much like a D&D style adventure, and obviously we're currently very much onto that vibe, but pretty masterful the way it's written. I feel like some sentences are really well thought out and paragraphs and stuff. And I also listened to some Harry Potter because I put that on before bed. That's my reading update for you. Hopefully I can give you some more updates tomorrow. And me and Logan are gonna sit down and you're eating? Always. <laughs> no, that's usually my line. I thought you were making... I thought you were having something else. After all this time? Oh, I thought you were having tiramisu. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're sitting down and we're gonna actually... We've decided to make a solo campaign, which... I feel like I'll just die, because like, how am I gonna survive alone? I'll just be overpowered, which I enjoy being, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm very generous. Yeah, I'll be... You mean I'll be very badass, is what you mean. Nah, you'll be playing based on a fucking superhero campaign, alright? It's gonna work. You say you're being generous, but... I'm generous, you won't get my no, 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 silver no. shit, like, really quick. Awesome. Not generous. You don't. I don't need a man to amplify my power. I am a generous one. I will allow you to play a powerful one. No, no. <laughs> so we're gonna, I think, sit down and create a character for that. Um, and figure out what's what. But the campaign that we're playing with um, the people on Saturdays, Curse of Strad. And the new one is Dragon Heist. Yeah, Curse of Strad, I've been very generous with you guys. In what way? You're not traumatized at all, so obviously I'm playing it wrong. It's because we handle stuff better than you anticipate us. Mm. I'm almost gonna get you from behind. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I had a very good moment where I just like went full rogue and handled an enemy before anyone even got a chance to wake up. Okay, you guys did not ask, but I'm gonna show you either way. <laughs> this is my um setup for Hermione, Ginny and Luna. Um this bathroom here, I changed a tiny bit, but this one is from like the gallery for the other people that uploaded it for people to use. I think it's really cute. Same as the kitchen, though I changed that quite a bit. Um but I think it's really cute looking. Here I'll have a little like workstation. I'll probably put a laptop here because oh <laughs> I forgot what I'm using, what I'm moving. I mean, then if you go over here, there is the witching room that I've created, which I think looks really really cool. So there is I've actually haven't gotten to playing it yet, so I don't know what does what, but there is this chimney that's all like crystals and whatnot. Yeah, there is this cabinet. There is another like apothecary type of cabinet. There are shelves, obviously the cauldron in the very middle. <laughs> there are shelves with all sorts of knickknacks. A sofa here and a bookshelf nook right there. Um, didn't really go well in that one. 
So I thought, I'll grab a book and then go in there. Um, and then, most importantly, and what I probably spend the most time building, so this bit it's not done, like, but I'm not gonna do it now. <laughs> we'll see what happens later. But once you go into here, this is where the girls are gonna sleep. And um, this is Luna's bit. So it's all like obviously Ravenclaw dorm themed, but I didn't find many things that would go with like copper and blue together, but there's way more things for white and blue. So there's a mixture. I tried to still incorporate some copper because I know it's so unfair. So that's like Luna's bit. And then if I turn, if I manage to without looking properly at it, uh, this is the Ginny's and Hermione's bit. So we have like this like sort of Hogwarts-ish wall with post, not posters, sorry, paintings. Uh, two beds and we should put a light here. It's really dark, but um, these are like red curtains. Then I was trying to find a <laughs> portrait that would be big and also have like a lady. So it's almost like the fat lady though with this one obviously is not that. Obviously the sort of common room chimney bit. And this, I think this one really fits here. And then some, oh god, wait, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> and then some knickknacks over here. I think I'll save this room if people want to use it as well in the gallery. Well, the combo that it is. But yeah, I like it. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think. That being said, you can probably guess I did not do any reading, so a. <laughs> Logan's been actually making a little um, cards for us to collect during the D&D adventure. Ooh, will you make me some for my single adventure? Yes, absolutely. Um, using the black paper that I use for my bullet journal. Can I see them? Yeah. I think they look really cool. Ooh, that one's cool. Which one? That one. Wait, is that the one that I have? Oh. Choker of Poison Protection. Yes. Nice. I think I'm spoiling myself slightly for some items in the future, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it also depends on um, whether you actually get them. So it depends on certain people die for a lot of these things, or becoming like... You could, you could just, or like... That's a lot of work, though, like, if you won't actually use them. No, there's a good chance, like, you're either going to get... People are either going to get... Those are cool. I like them. It's Tiger Alley! Well, Caster's Alley. Well, leave your reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> this is like the main bit, and then there is the dueling grounds and the gardens. <gasps> so pretty! Someone is an absolute dumbass and kept playing Sims until like 2 30 in the morning by accident. And today is Monday and it's work day and that dumbass is regretting her choices big time. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> Why did I do that to myself? I did not do the reflection time and or the reading time or the tarot time yesterday. So I'm gonna do that today at some point. Sims got me guys, Sims got me. It got, it does that sometimes when I start playing again, then I don't play for months and then I get back to it and then that's what happens. <sighs> Sitting down for the weekly reflection. Um, how was yours? What did you do? Anything good happened? Anything not so? As for me, um, this week has been odd. <laughs> first of all, well last week technically, but first of all the this was the first week back after being sick for the longest of times that I've ever had <laughs> of work. Um, for that perspective, it went fine. Um, I think the first half of the week or the first couple of days of the week, I actually felt quite okay health-wise. And I think I got my hopes a little bit up, you know how that happens sometimes. And once the issue persisted, um, I got very low mood-wise because I felt like, oh, you know, when you have hope and then like it just kind of, okay, false alarm, <laughs> it's kind of still back. So in that respect, it was kind of eh. And there were very many days where I didn't really want to speak with people, but I was like just kind of 
fairly content. I wasn't like too unhappy. <laughs> I'm just a little bit scared for the next week. I'm a bit nervous. I've also been actually taking a different course of medications this week. Um, I don't think it... It's very hard to tell. Uh, I don't know if it has an effect on the issue or not, but been dealing with that a little bit and it's it's been okay actually the only thing that has just sort of made me very <laughs> clumsy um not really disoriented like as I can feel like I'm disoriented but like just balance wise what a bit like because I'm not a clumsy person like naturally I'm pretty like precise and definitely not clumsy but uh yeah so it's been like a week uh of me mainly working Something really positive is that I managed to restock a little bit, like a couple packs of bookmarks and I got really really excited about some future plans for uh, what I want to do, what I want to make. There's one project in particular that would probably take me like maybe a year <laughs> to make if I would actually want to, maybe two or something, but I would love, I feel like that is what I want to make. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I would love to make that. Um, profits be damned, but I really would love to make that thing that I want to make. This is very informative, I'm sorry. That, but the fact that I'm making and I'm excited for future things and actually making future plans, because there was a lot of days, and there's still days, where I don't really look at the future because my mind goes to dark places and I'm like, you know, what's future kind of thing. So. This week mainly was not that, uh, which is amazing. Um, oh, and obviously, I've started the week reading-wise really strongly, and <laughs> and then I didn't. Um, mainly because, well, one, work got quite busy, and then also I started Sims. So, Sims and me, I've been with Sims from Sims 1, <laughs> and I would get obsessed. I think Sims 3 was like probably the best, but yeah, I would get obsessed and then it would be months without playing and then like months playing or like weeks playing without in years not playing, you know, it's like me and Sims are just like that couple that keeps breaking up and then falling back madly in love. I feel like the madly in love is back and I think today all I'm gonna do, because it was a very busy day at work, it was just not a bad thing, I love being busy, but it was like full on and I shipped the orders during the lunch break and everything, so after I'm done filming this and uploading this, it's probably it's already gonna be like 9 o'clock or something, your girl is gonna be playing sims because of that magic expansion like you saw maybe at some point i'll record something like a lot of people asked me to uh, record it when i posted it on instagram but like i don't actually think i play entertainingly like there's not much that's very entertaining uh, i don't i think it would be super boring for you guys to watch so unlikely but i probably will keep showing you things like a little bit in the vlogs if you want to let me know if not then i won't <laughs> totally understand might not be the best thing to watch but that's about it about this week i think so overall not too bad definitely like this on the mood and everything but next week's gonna be a tiny bit scary but, like there's a test for me at the hospital on friday so i think i'm probably gonna be nervous a little bit um and then the week or a week and a half after that i'll see the results and stuff so it's gonna be a bit like you know but it's fine um I definitely should be doing quite a bit of reading. I'm, I'm hoping to finish at least two things next week. Um, maybe more. We'll see, you'll just have to tune in and hang out with me again. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to hear about your week, what's been going on, and um, with that, for those who are not interested in the little readings that we do here at the very end, as now is the tradition, um, I'll say goodbye, thank you so much for watching, I love you, love you so much so much um i hope you're having a good week and if not that's also okay you don't always have to be happy or even okay and this too shall pass you know so um stay awesome stay kind and i'll see you in the next one and if you're staying then let me change my battery because it's flashing <laughs> okay so just before we start as for absolutely usual i'd like you to take a deep breath all of the stuff that happened throughout the week, good, the bad, just, you know, feel it with your inhale and release and say goodbye with your exhale. I'm currently very big on the philosophy of not running away from things and just 
accepting it and feeling it, embracing it, but also not lingering on it. So they will be using this one again. I really enjoyed it last time we used it and I think I'm going to keep it easy today and just simply do one card rather than a couple or three. Did I do three at some point? Two, I think. But um, grab yourself some tea. Think of the mindset you would like to have next week or think of something from this week that would influence your mood next week and something maybe to carry on, something maybe to leave behind. So whatever it is, just have a moment. You don't have to actually think about anything. Just relax and let us get into it. And there we are. So we have one, two, three, or A, B, C. See which one calls for you. Don't forget to let me know because I'm nosy and I like to hear that. Um, I will also pick one. And let's go ahead and see what they have in store for us. So let's start with this. Oh, pride. Okay. I actually absolutely love this card. This is all about taking pride in what you do and most importantly, doing it well. So this is a little bit of a take your time with your tasks. Do everything to the best of your ability, even if you don't like what you do, maybe you're not the biggest fan of your job, you can still take pride in what you do because you do it well or because you take your time and you do it to the best of your ability, even though it might not necessarily be the thing that is the most joyful to you. Doing a job that you don't enjoy is difficult and it can be very soul crushing, but if you do the job well, it can lead you to taking more pleasure with it. And pride has such a negative stigma attached to the whole concept. Prideful is to be selfish, big-headed, prideful is to be self-absorbed, but really pride is such an integral part of self-growth and self-love. If you're constantly looking to critique yourself, that's just making everybody else's job easier to push you down and to stop you. And I think it says a lot about us as humans in general that we see pride as always, always a negative thing unless you are particularly speaking about pride and then suddenly it's okay. But usually if someone is called or oh, they're really prideful, it's somewhat of a negative trait but it does not need to be and it shouldn't be. I think you should celebrate yourself and you should be prideful of what you do and how you do it. I think it's a very, very good reminder and I absolutely love this card. So for those who chose the number one or A card, I'd love to hear you say unashamedly what you pride yourself on. Is it your? Is it one of your traits? Is it something that you do? Something that you have accomplished? Tell me what brings you pride, and don't stop yourself. <laughs> like tell me all of it. And those who are reading the comments, please go ahead and like those comments with people saying what they're prideful of and congratulate one another so at least on this channel as a small step uh, we can celebrate each other instead of pushing others down because something that they have achieved is not something we achieved we achieve different things nor should we achieve the same thing so let's let's be very kind to one another and let's celebrate one another and in that way at least in this channel hopefully in the future we'll just will not be hesitant around sharing our success so i love this card okay Moving on to number two. Um, protection for Eucalyptus and Monarch. Two things I know. <laughs> this is actually really beautiful because did you know that the Monarch uh, butterfly type does use Eucalyptus plant as protectionist? This is another really beautiful card that just reminds you that you, you are protected. Your ideas and beliefs are sheltered and safe. It's Something that we are often scared of is our opinions being either mislabeled or misunderstood. Um, but especially with cancel culture going on so strongly, there's always this fear to say something and then be attacked for it. It's important to remember that you are protected by yourself because no one, only you know what you mean and only you know what you believe and only you can actually change that. So if you are maybe worried about something, just remember that you within yourself 
are a safe space. So no matter what happens in life, you always have a safe space because you always have yourself. Not to mention any additional support that you have from your friends, family and loved ones. But even lacking that, you always have yourself. And this is also a reminder to be a safe place for others if they are in need. And if you do burn and you feel like you can't fly, there's always a safe space within you that can allow you to heal until you're ready again. But if you also spot someone, even not necessarily a friend, just someone that looks like they might need some extra protection, be both, be protected and a protector. So be the safe place for someone. So maybe reach out or be open if you're able to. Uh, to someone coming to you. For those who got the second card, I'd love you guys to tell us what you do when you do feel like you need to center yourself and get away from the world a little bit and go within yourself to find that safe space. What is your safe nook within your mind? Um, and if there's anything particular that you do, maybe take a bath or um, go away for the weekend and just disconnect or the opposite go and speak with loads of people let me know what being protective and what the ultimate self-care is for you in those moments but this is just a card to remember that you always have that and honestly no one can take that away from you and then we have the last one passion Woo, dudes we got three peas who watches charm I swear to God, I shuffle these a lot and I also then spread them. You cannot see, but I've spread them um, on the ground and selected them from different places. So three Ps, power of three, yay. <laughs> Passion is not always the factor that drives our decision making. So there's usually, and I'm not saying it shouldn't be like, I am a very pragmatic person. I always try to make most of my decisions uh, based on logic and try to uh, rein my emotions and just because I am a very very emotional person uh, by nature or I used to be very very emotional person by nature it has not always led me <laughs> to the best of places so I always personally try to um, let logic and pragmatism um, lead me into decisions but this could be a really good time to let your passion take a high gear you know like kick it into high gear and if you have some passion projects, no matter how small and how silly, go for it. If you wanted, to, if you wanted to take that aerial yoga class, do it. I would. My health does not allow now, but at some point I will try one of those classes because it looks like hella fun. I have no upper body strength. I would probably land on my face and break my nose, but I'ma do it at some point. Um, but if you want to take a cooking class, or if you wanted to, if you cannot afford a cooking class, because those could be very expensive try uh, you can do some sort of tutorials or new recipes online from youtube easy to find if it's something completely crazy um entirely unheard of a very niche hobby that you want to explore on youtube or like do some diys or if you wanted to uh, start your big project you've been wanting to do for maybe since you were five i know half of us wanted to always always wanted to write a book do it let your passion drive you for a little bit uh, it doesn't have to always be what's best in the long run. We never know what's gonna happen the next day. We should really allow ourselves to do something that we're passionate about. Maybe unlike the pride thing, it doesn't have to be done perfectly. But even if it's wonky as hell, like I think most of my things are, you can still feel pride for that. And if it all fails, you, you still have that protection in you that we spoke about in the second card. So I think it's very important to define and make plans to do what makes you feel passionate about something. Um, not just say that you will, but like make plans. I feel like those kind of projects are the most appropriate to fall into a rabbit hole of videos and websites and just just go crazy. If you got the third card, let me know what that would be for you and what you plan on doing this upcoming week to let yourself be a little bit crazy. Um, I actually picked this card as well, I picked the third card. To me, I, I think it's very funny that this card is the one that I picked because I obviously just started planning all of these amazing things I want to do, pouring out ideas of what I want to do, so I'll just like take this as encouragement to continue with that, even if I don't know if it's an ever going to come to fruition. Just the planning is enjoyable for me as well, so that would be for me. 
but I would love to hear what that is for you. I actually love this deck. This deck speaks so, so well to me. I feel like I can interpret these um, the way I want to. Uh, the little prompts that they have are very useful for me, so I am just in love with this deck. I love using it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's reading. Definitely let me know and speak with one another down below about what you picked and what your plans are. Um, thank you so, so much for tuning in and staying to the very end. I hope you guys are well and I hope you guys are treating yourself kindly. But that's it now. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna see you in the comments. So love you guys. Bye!